Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here in my shop today is beautiful 2002 Lexus ES300. This one has like 260,000 miles and you won't believe how beautiful it is inside. It's incredible. Maybe I can show you a little bit later, but it's here for two different problems today. There's misfire on that V6 engine, that's one of the things. But look, I was scanning computers, so the vehicle was here for 10 minutes. Here, it is after that for approximately another 10 minutes. And look what's happening here. Absolute insanity. Some quick loop place strip that engine oil pen drain plug fret. This is what they did with it. It's puking oil like crazy. And the owner wants me to fix it. I never saw this atrocity sticking out of the engine oil pan before. I have no idea what it is, why it's leaking so much. So let's go look at it together. It's left, I have no idea what they are trying to do with that. Look. Like that's supposed to do something? Or you just mark your own territory? I don't know. But let's go and clean it. Let's go and dry it. And that maybe will give us some idea where the problem is, where it's leaking from. Of course there are many options how to deal with this. Was this actually some self-tapping piggyback which was screwed in the pan and this is supposed to be a drain plug well what do you think did you ever see it before because i didn't so this could be fixable if we have a time for it or also another option is to replace that entire engine oil pan it must be very frustrating for anybody who experiences this you give your car to the oil place the service and some grease monkey who is in hurry destroys it completely so it's too bad and guess what it starts looking that I was wrong I thought it was coming here from these frets but this might be actually closing it correctly I see the oil appearing between the body of this steel. Once again, I'm assuming it's self-tapping element. Oh yeah, it's coming right here. So that washer here is not doing its work. It's leaking really badly. You saw it on the ground. I'm trying to change the angle so you can observe it from different angles and see actually what's happening so do you see that with me it, it's coming from here actually let me see oh yeah it's coming from underneath it floating on this body and that is something what was confusing me i thought it's coming from those threads but i don't think so it's it's completely leaking around that Kind of plasticky, it, it feels like plastic more than rubber, rubber washer. Just to see dimensions, this seems to be 19. What do you think it's the small thing? And the small part is actually 11 here in metric. And I'm being absolutely honest with you. As I said before, I never saw this craziness before. So what is this 11? This 11, is it the drain plug? I position here my catching pan. So is this middle part, is it the draining device? That will make sense, correct? Uh huh, I think so. I think that's what will drain the oil. Let's change the light. I don't wanna have any spill anywhere. Uh huh, you cannot see it anymore. Let's go this way. And this nicely should come out, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, look at it. 
So this is how it drains. Now I can lower it again for you. So you have a better view. So look, every day we are learning something new. So I should go and check the prices for the oil pan or install this better, better than it is, so it will stop leaking. As you can see, the oil is contaminated anyway. I got approval, obviously, to change the oil, engine oil and engine oil filter, so that's not a problem. When it will all come out, we can actually try to see how this is tied and if we can remove it. So now the good news is, I just checked with my supplier and this whole pen, it's including tax 70 bucks. So that's no big deal. Plus the install will be what, half an hour of the labor, maybe. So that's good news. The bad news is not available, so I cannot replace it, call the customer and replace it. But it doesn't matter because I want to investigate what's up with this thing. Is it even tight? So this is the 19 millimeter, and I will carefully try to undo it first. Let's go this way. So look at it. Oh yeah, it's not tight at all. Now if I go the other way. Oh yeah, this actually. I don't want to strip it again, but this wasn't really tight at all, this plug. So why we don't just take it out and look what these people who didn't damage it. It was the other oil place which damaged it, so what they really put in. As I said, I never saw this before. It's new to me, some kind of alternative replacement oh yeah the oil in the armpits oil in the armpits so after removing that plug you can see the oil is draining a little bit faster again and let's go look on the bench what I got out here is one more time the detail of the oil pan opening the mess which was left there and here is the part which came out so that's that self tapping area what it says right here m12 times 1.25 sc something like that right here is that opening and if i'm correct there is inside some kind of gasket and that should actually nicely seal that small plug which I removed here we go we are back this is the plug which was inside that was that 11 millimeter range needed excuse me so this goes in and that should be that new drain and this should be nicely in the oil pan now if I remove this plastic this is hard plastic gasket Eva let's evaluate it together do you think that was able to nicely stick to that oil pan do you see do you see how it's kind of damaged do you see that was able actually stop any leaks together with this part I don't think so that was not possible but this little part should actually going inside it should be able to stop any future leaks so let's go and give it a shot since the oil pan is not available let's go and try to reuse it just install it better way the way I want to fix it I need to get that oil out first so I will need to change the catching pan. I will continue working on that vehicle, on the spark plugs. I will lower it, continue working on it and let it drain. And I 
ran out of the time that day and couldn't finish the video, but this is what I did. When the oil was not dripping, after a couple of hours working, I roughen up, clean up the surface around that plug on that engine oil pan. I clean everything, install that plug back, but in the thread I put that steel epoxy, which you saw in different videos on this channel, screw it on, tighten it, put some of that steel epoxy also around that plug, around that large part, and after that, after 30 minutes, it was hard like a steel. I installed that small plug, which goes inside, tighten it, finish the engine oil change, and it was perfectly holding. But that entire repair piece, it's kind of chunky and was sticking out of that engine oil pan. I don't think it's a permanent fix, I will say. It's just temporary. It was not leaking whatsoever. It was perfectly holding. But at the end, we agreed with the owner of the vehicle that the best way will be to replace that engine oil pan. So please, if you know the part, what's the name of it or item number, please share it with others. I never figured it out online what it is. Uh, if it's installed correctly, it perfectly holds and it's not leaking. So thank you for watching and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.